Hey, what's up? This is Adam from Switchboard. And in this video, uh, I want to give you a tutorial on how you can use Switchboard Canvas to um, automate the creation of uh, social media graphics or really any, any graphics that you want to uh, create. Um, I'm going to be using a combination of Airtable and Switchboard Canvas. Airtable is particularly well suited um, to this sort of application because you can really store any data and you can send it over to Canvas really easily. Um, by using a, uh, a script that I will uh, I give you a link to a little later in the video. I'll also link to it in the description. Okay, so without further ado, I'll come into Canvas. I want to create a new template. Um, I'm just going to call this uh, Airtable uh, quote. We'll come into here and I'm going to come into the Canvas size chooser here and just make this square for now. So I'm going to make a simple social media post. You will be instantly uh, envious of my design skills here. I'm just going to choose this image from Unsplash. I'm going to pin this to the edges. This means that uh, any size we look at this, the image will sort of stay in the right place, which is convenient. Um, what I'm also going to do is change the background color of the template to something quite dark and then reduce the opacity of the image a touch just to make this a little darker. This is going to make our text stand out a little bit better. Okay, and just for completeness, I'll just name this um, element backdrop. Okay, now I'm going to add some text. This is going to be the main uh, quote text that we'll have in the social image. This is the main quote text. I'll choose a, a relatively nice font. Let's choose uh, this one here. Okay, great. And then for the purposes of calling from Airtable or from the API, I'm just going to give this a better name. I'm just going to call this quote. Now for the positioning, what I want to do is have this say 100 pixels uh, from the left and I'm, pick, I'm pinned 100 pixels from the right. That'll keep this in the middle. And then I'm going to say, uh, actually put this 50% of the way down uh, the image and just offset this a little bit, uh, maybe something like 80 pixels. That gives it uh, somewhere towards the middle, say a little 100, something like that, 100 pixels from halfway down the uh, image size. Um, I'm going to do Control Shift V to duplicate this element. Uh, I'm going to call this one hashtag. And this is going to be the hashtag that I want to put on the social post. So I'm just going to put in hashtag. Now it's gone green because we can highlight hashtags a different color if we want. I don't really want that for this demo, so I'm just going to make it white. And I'm going to reduce the height of this to something like 75 um, so that it's a bit smaller. And what I'm going to do is pin the hashtag element to the bottom of the, 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 bottom of the main quote element. Um, so I'm going to choose quote and I'm going to say bottom. I'm going to say offset of something like 20 pixels. So this is now saying that the hashtag element is pinned to the bottom of the quote uh, element. So that's everything we need on uh, the Canvas template. I'm now going to jump over to Airtable. And here I've got a brand new base that I've just created. Um, we don't need any of this. What I'm going to do is add some columns here. And then we're going to add the script that connects this to Canvas to create the uh, to create the images on the fly. So first of all, I'm going to remove these uh, columns that uh, I don't necessarily need. Um, going to come in to create a new uh, column. Now, I'm not sure why I'm seeing that errors. Let's let's do what it says and refresh the page. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first column I'm going to create um, needs to have uh, a name in a, in a certain format, and that is the name of the element that's in the canvas, colon, and then the property name that we want to specify in this table, and that's the text uh, property of the element. Um, so we add that, and then I also want to do the same for the hashtag, and I'm going to overwrite the text. Um, the next thing I'm going to add is um, a column for the name of the template. This will be this will be the same. It will just be the Airtable quote template that we created. Um, but this allows you to specify which template you want to use from Airtable on the fly. 
The next column I'm going to add um, is a size uh, column. And this is going to let us choose what size we want to create the image at. So I'm just going to put a couple of options in here, 1080 by 1080 and 1900 by 1080, something like that. Actually, we can do another one. Let's do one more, uh, 1080 by 1920, that'll be story size. That's for the size. Next column we want, uh, we'll call image. And this is gonna be of type attachment because this is where Switchable Canvas is going to put the images that get created uh, once, they are, once they are created, they will appear in this column. And the last thing, last column we need is the API key. And this is where you'll put the API key uh, from Canvas. And that's actually what I'll do straight away. So I've got my design in there. I'm gonna come in, grab my key, highly secret key, come back into API key, paste that in. Now I can actually hide this column because uh, we don't really need to see that. That's just cluttering up the view a little bit. Okay. Um, Last step, we need to take uh, a script um, and place it into this uh, base here so that um, some code can run which calls Canvas. Now that code um, I've put in this blog post and this blog post here is really a tutorial um, that this uh, video is based on. So you can get a lot more detail about what's going on with this post and I'll link this uh, below. But right now I'm gonna jump down and grab uh, the script that I need, which starts here. I'm gonna just gonna come down and select all of this. Uh, copy, I'm gonna come back to the base. I'm gonna come into apps, and we need to create an app. So I'm gonna click add an app. The app we want is scripting right here. Click this. Um, this is Airtable's own script, so it's perfectly safe. Um, okay, so we're gonna come in. This is, looks all very complicated and unnecessary, but that's fine because we can ignore most of it. All we want to do is replace all of the script and paste in the script from the blog post. And we can click Finish Editing. And then we can close this. And that could just sit over there for a second. Our script is in place. What we need uh, is a mechanism to call the script. So what we can do in our table is create another column we can just call this something like options and we can add a button to this uh, column. Um, text on the button can say create and what this button is going to do is run the script uh, that we've just added um, to the base. Now this is on dashboard one, didn't really name it very nicely but dashboard one is there and scripting is the app um, that is going to run and when we create field we get a button that's uh, that's ready to uh, that's ready to run the script. Now all we need to do is um, fill in some data. So the name column is uh, sort of optional, but we can just give this a name. You could use this to reference the asset that um, you are about to create. Uh, so quote text, let's say something like a problem shared is a problem halved, something like that. The hashtag I can say uh, motivational or something of that nature. Now the template name was Airtable dash quote and size. We can just open this up. I can choose one of the sizes. Let's do 1080, 1080. That's the size I um, designed the template in. Okay, now let's see if this works. We'll do a create. We'll just give that a second. And we can see that an image has popped up. Select this, click the image. There is uh, the image that Canvas has generated. From here, you can download, you can do some basic edits in Airtable, um, but you can extract those out of Airtable and, and, and do what you need to do with them. Um, one thing we can do is uh, actually specify multiple sizes. So this time I'll do a 1080. Uh, a 1920 by 1080 and a 1080 by 1920 story size and an HD size. Let's cre create. That should use or make a couple of API calls to create those two images. Now we have two records in here. The second one should be uh, the story size. Um, so you can continue to sort of fill out this um, sheet um, with 
data that you want to use to create the images from. You can specify a different template if you have multiple templates uh, in Canvas. Um, you can specify the different sizes and uh, the create button will create the images uh, for you. Um, Airtable can connect to all sorts of different tools, either with scripts or, or with um, additional applications that are in there. You can also uh, connect to Airtable with no-code tools like uh, Zapier, Public Connect, Integrately, tools of that nature. So this is a flexible way of um, creating uh, posts uh, as long as these columns uh, are named um, with the element name and the colon and the property name. This quote text is referring to uh, quote and then the text property. You can pretty much target any of the properties um, in any of these elements uh, by specifying columns in Airtable. So that's how that hangs together. Well, I hope if you've uh, enjoyed the tutorial. If you have uh, any questions at all, please reach out using the chat button in the bottom right corner. Um, always love to hear about uh, some of the challenges, especially with marketing automation that you face. Um, but um, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you on the next one.